I'm Shadow Stevens. Next week, American Top 40, the next phase. We kick off our 23rd year on the air with a new sound for the show as we count them down. It's massive. It'll make your socks roll up and down. I think it's going to surprise you. Next weekend, July 4th weekend, here on AT40 when we make it happen. At number 37 this week, here's Mariah Carey. From Hollywood, I'm Shadow Stevens, and this is American Top 40. This 4th of July weekend marks our 22nd anniversary, and we're celebrating the start of our 23rd year with a dynamic new sound for AT40. The music you're hearing right now is just the tip of the iceberg. But before we start out this week's star-spangled hit celebration, let's look back at last week's top three. At number three were the Red Hot Chili Peppers with Under the Bridge. At number two were those four funky divas and vote with their recent number one, My Lovin', You're Never Gonna Get It. And holding firm at number one was the unsinkable Mariah Carey and I'll Be There. Will she stay afloat at the top yet again for a fourth week? Hey, let's line them up and count them down. And leading off is a woman who changes her look more than we change the oil in the old Chevrolet. Last time we saw her was a couple of months ago, looking like a cross between a zombie from Night of the Living Dead and a raccoon. <laughs> and that's when she performed at the Freddie Mercury tribute concert on TV from London. Now she has her very first solo hit on American Top 40. She's Annie Lennox from the Eurythmics with a ballad called Why. Annie Lennox hit our countdown 10 times with her duo partner, Dave Stewart of the Eurythmics. And now she has her first solo hit. Starting us off at number 40, it's called Why. America, top 40. And we move right on to the sixth top 40 hit by Wilson Phillips at number 39, You Won't See Me Cry. 